right, very shortly we're going to be getting you out to the playing fields and getting started with the action this weekend in the United States Football League. But first, a chance to look at some of the developing stories in the league. The big one, of course, contract signing yesterday in New Orleans, Marcus Dupree is now the property of the New Orleans Breakers. The Breakers are playing the Oakland Invaders in the Bay Area this weekend. And right now, standing by live in our owned and operated station, KGO in San Francisco, are Marcus Dupree and the owner of the New Orleans Breakers, Mr. Joseph Canizero. Marcus, congratulations on your contract. It's been a long time since you have played some organized football. I wonder exactly how physically and mentally you find yourself now prepared to play in the USFL. Well, I've been working out, Jim, and uh, I've been trying to stay in pretty good shape. And uh, I think in a week's time and a week's preparation, I think I can be ready. And ready to do what? What are your expectations for this first year in the USFL? Well, mostly just contribute to the team and uh, try to help the team out the best way I can. You feel as though you're going to be as comfortable on a football field and as ready to play within the next couple of weeks as you were back when you were in the routine of playing every day at Oklahoma? Yes, I think so. It, it, like you said, it might take a little time, but uh, I, I think I will. Mr. Canizero, the report here is that the contract uh, you have signed Marcus to is valued at uh, up to $6 million over a five-year period. Is that accurate? That is correct, yes, sir. On what do you justify, on what evidence do you justify that kind of investment in this young man? The potential that uh, Marcus Dupree is going to be one of the greatest running backs in the history of football. Uh, we're satisfied he's going to contribute uh, significantly to our team, so it's on the basis of those two things. What do you expect out of him this year? Uh, contribute to the team, be a part of the team as a whole, and work hard and run as fast as he can for as many yards as he can and bring us to the championship. <laughs> well, that's not much. Let's hope he can do a few of those things. Congratulations again to both of you on having consummated a deal that I'm sure you were both anxious to get done. And Marcus, good luck to you in the future. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you again for being with us. All right, that's the story on Marcus Dupree. Won't play this weekend. Hopefully for him, he'll start playing next weekend. Another young man in whom the USFL has been expressing interest, of course, is Steve Young, the great quarterback from Brigham Young University. Last night at 2 o'clock Eastern time, we had our most recent conversation from this control center with Steve Young, and he reported to us that while negotiations continue with the Los Angeles Express of the USFL, he has no expectation that he will be signing a contract today or this weekend and he is now beginning to hear of course from the nfl and the cincinnati bengals earlier in the week you're probably already aware ray yaw the coach of the washington federals was dismissed replaced by his offensive coordinator dick bielski so bielski will be coaching his first game for the federals today at home against the philadelphia star